Have you personally heard any of those concerns? Any of those uh, you know, I, mechanism concerns? I, I travel all over the province. I've been to all 29 uh, district forest office around the province. I was in Fort Nelson, uh, Fort St. John this, this past week. Uh, you know, I've been to QCI, to Summerlee, you know, literally, I mean, there's very few communities in this province uh, with a population oh, over 500 that I haven't gotten Absolutely. to. And uh, I have never had someone come and say, the model is not working for us. So now, that's not to say that they haven't thought about it. That's not to say that it isn't an issue in the back of their mind. Yeah. It may just be that the time that I spent with them was focused on a different topic. So I don't want to diminish the importance of that um, but uh, you know I do think that uh, every every uh, every time you go through a fire season like we have this year you need to take a step back and ask yourself the question you know what went well uh, where were our challenges and what would we do differently in the future and learn from those experiences so that you can go forward I don't think this year is a one of year uh, I'm hopeful that you know 2010 is not going to be like this and maybe 11 is not going to be like this but, you know, this year's uh, fire season arguably was the worst we've ever had. Um, and in some ways, the best that we've ever had in terms of the protection of structures. We've lost seven structures across the province altogether. Uh, so not bad compared to 2003, where we lost uh, around 200. So, you know, pretty, pretty successful. But we're going to spend, you know, in the $400 million uh, range by the end of the year. Is there a way of managing it better into the future? so that we can do, again, get it from seven homes to zero yeah. uh, and, uh, and reduce the overall cost through smart investments.